Okay, now uh, I've finished all the finger poses. And if I play through this animation here, let's see what it looks like. Don't touch my stuff. This is my side of the living room, and that is your side of the living room. And much to break straight out of another coffin. It's disgusting. All right. So, um... I like my finger positions here. I may tweak them a little bit later on, but for now, they're uh, pretty good. They're pretty much everything that I want. This one right here, though, now that I'm looking at it, it may need just a little bit of adjustment. So I'm actually going to choose him, go here. Um, I'm almost on the right key frame. That one right there. I actually want his, his thumb to be in a little more like this. So he's actually kind of holding a fist and pointing. Okay. There we go. So now, if I go back to here, and then I play it. Don't touch my stuff. This is my side of the living room, and that is your side of the living room. And much too break straight out of the milk carton. It's disgusting. Don't okay. touch my stuff. So, um, all the keyframes look about where I want them. I'm actually going to change the camera a bit. Um, I think it's out a little too far. I want it in a little closer. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to try a couple things. Um, and I want to show you this so that you can play with them at the same time. Now, in my camera shortcut, I've got all these different things. I, can, I change the background to black. Um, and you can do that just by clicking on... Um, the arrow and then background and you can choose you know whatever you want and I chose mine as black um, I'm actually going to hide the ground here so you can't see it there we go Don't touch my stuff. okay that'll be pretty good um, so in my camera I can either do one of the th two things I can hit M make sure I'm at frame zero so I don't animate my camera M, hold down shift and left click in. So it's like this. Okay, I think I like that a lot better. His finger points out of the frame just briefly. One thing that I may want to do is I can go to my camera settings. And I go into render or uh, output options, and uh, I can check my resolution. Right now it's just 640 by 480, but if I want to put this on a DVD, I can change it to 720. Uh, I think I want to do that. Not only will it help the composition a little bit to be a little bit more widescreen, um, but uh, I want to be able to put it on DVD uh, native, so I don't have to do any sort of com conversion or compression or anything like that. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my camera here. And in my properties, I'm going to go to output options and resolution. I'm going to click here and change to uh, DV. Okay. So now it's 720 by 480. Okay. Can you can either do DV or you can also go to uh, D1, which will do it just slightly different, but I'll just do DV. Okay, so let me save this. Now maybe in, in just a little bit, but it's all right if the finger goes off the camera just slightly. This is the one I'm mainly worried about because if I uh, If I only see that right there, it may not look correct. I'm actually going to change the, uh, I'm going to go to my camera again. I'm going to change my focal length from 70 to about 45. Okay, that'll make it a little wider angle lens. Now, what, I, what happened is it actually made it wider than it was originally. But that way, when I zoom in, it'll actually keep... little wider. So let's see how this works. 
about the same. So M shift pull out just a little bit. Do it again. That's better. That's much better. So I'm just going to keep it that way, save my choreography. Um, if you remember, when I went to turn on, uh, when I did the fingers, I turned on show finger bones. That basically dirties the model and says that it's changed. Um, but I don't save the model because I don't want to save any of the settings. I just wanted to do it for that for that one part. So make sure not to save your model um, after you've changed settings on it or something like that unless you want that to be the default. So um, now that I have all my keyframes done and my camera put where I want, um, it's time to start going into do it, to doing in-betweens uh, and breakdowns. And so um, we'll go into that in the next section.